Well, hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm here in beautiful New Zealand to reveal my top five photography locations. Now, right off the bat, I need to be quite clear here. These five locations are actually for the South Island. There are some magnificent spots up on the North Island, but seriously, if I had to list every single location, we'd be here for three and a half hours. And we really don't want that, do we? So let's get into it. Coming in at number five is the majestic Queenstown. Queenstown is just incredible for photography. And when I say Queenstown, that also covers the immediate surrounding areas like Arrowtown, Lake Wakatipu, Coronet Peak and the Remarkables, Lake Hayes, and of course, you must do the scenic drive out to Glenorchy. You can't go wrong wherever you decide to put your camera here. In fact, you'll even grab a snap as you step off the plane. Sun rises, sun sets. You'll have a field day here with your camera in all sorts of weather, and importantly, all year round. Coming in at number four, we're going to have to head west. No, west is that way. West to the stunning Lake Matheson. You can find Lake Matheson right near the famous Fox Glacier. The pristine lake has some of the most stunning reflections you'll ever see. Surrounded by beautiful nature and wildlife, Lake Matheson is a must for photography. My tip in shooting here is to get there on sunrise because the water is so still and calm in the lake. A real bonus for reflections. Being early too, you'll also get that early morning mist or fog drifting into your shot. Acting like a mirror, you'll get the most amazing images of Mount Cook and Mount Tasman reflecting in the water. It's also a great spot for astrophotography. And coming in at number three, we got the big fella himself, Mount Cook. Mount Cook is the highest mountain in New Zealand. Nearby lakes like Lake Pukaki and Lake Tekapau are also worth a visit. The park has some of the most incredible scenery you'll ever see. Walking trails like the Hooker Valley Track lead you out to Hooker Lake, where you can capture floating chunks of ice with Mount Cook in the background. Around this area also is Tasman Lake. It's very accessible and great for landscape photography, and also a selfie or two. Coming in at number two, we have the gorgeous... Lake Wanaka. What? Wanaka. Yeah, right. Lake Wanaka. Well, if Tom Cruise can say it in a movie, then it must be good, right? <coughs> Seriously though, Lake Wanaka is just stupendously beautiful and home to the famous Wanaka tree. Yes, you've probably seen it on a thousand Instagram posts, and rightly so. The surrounding mountains in all times of the year make an amazing backdrop. My tip is to shoot here on sunrise. But with the tree becoming more and more popular, be prepared to rub shoulders with your fellow snappers. And coming in at number one, we have the jaw-dropping Milford Sound. I think if Mother Nature ever made a movie set, this would be it. The World Heritage listed Milford Sound is truly a sight to behold massive waterfalls falling hundreds of meters into the sound. Wildlife including birds, seals, dolphins, whales, and just the sheer size of the snow-capped Mitre Peak will leave you speechless. My tip for shooting here is to try and time it with the tide coming in during the morning hours. Head to where the water is calm and you should see some beautiful reflections. Nature trails, ancient forests, you just can't go wrong here when it comes to grabbing the ultimate photo. Well, I hope this video has given you some ideas of what to photograph in New Zealand. If you know somebody who's coming to New Zealand, maybe you want to share this video with them. I'm Adrian Alford. Thanks very much for watching and always feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.